All right, Biggie, we're back. We're back. <laughs> you got some fresh new blood today. I like it. Yes. Who do you got? I am really, I'm hoping, I'm, I think I'm going to say your name correctly. This is Rashana Boswell. Is that correct? <laughs> and uh, where'd you come from today? Uh, Chicago. Came from Chicago. Uh, I, thought, I was thinking Texas for some reason. Okay, Chicago. Yeah, I, we, we, I was like, where'd you come from? I keep forgetting. But anyway, uh, she is currently getting ready for the IVB Puerto Rico Pro. Yeah, we got a couple of seven Nice. So three weeks, one. right? Yeah. Three weeks? Yeah. Coming close. Yeah. About three yeah. weeks. We're, yeah, we're, we're setting that four-week mark. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then what are we doing after that? What are, what are our, our uh, list of shows? We're looking at Atlanta and Chicago. Chicago will be my home show. So, uh, but Puerto Rico, Atlanta, and Chicago will be so. You get a lot on your plate coming. <laughs> <laughs> Once I'm ready, I just... <laughs> in 2021, before we had actually met, you won which one? It was the, uh, Savannah, bro. Savannah. So nice. you did go to the Olympia last year. Yeah, Congrats. Three times at the Olympia. Wow, Olympia. we have an Olympian today. We have an Olympian today. We have an Olympian I love it. Today. And uh, yeah, we haven't met yet. We've been working together for, for several months preparing. Yeah, we started right after the Olympia. Um, yeah. I needed to put on size quickly. <laughs> yeah, we needed size. size. So that was... Yeah, so we did it together. We did off season. Now we're in contest prep. The first season together, everything is going great. I'm so glad to have her here at the Dragon's Lair and in Vegas. We got her for the day, and uh, she be fun. I want to say this because she actually this is how committed she was. She actually flew from Chicago uh -huh. to come to Vegas early today, going to with us, and right back on the plane tonight. That's right. how. Yes. That's how uh, committed she was to be on JT. Yes, so we appreciate is. you yes. coming. Yes. That was very, very nice. Here. And today we're going to do. What we do with her back training, we really want to bring up her back. So we do two days of back training. The first day is a width day, which we did earlier this week. Today we're going to do our thickness day, so that's what we're going to be focused on today is back thickness. Okay, so let's go train, yep. and then I want to talk to you a little bit more afterwards if we have time. Absolutely. Okay, all right. Okay, so the first movement uh, that I wanted to do for back thickness is a movement I really, really love because it really, really isolates that mid-back, the mid-traps. Uh, brings out a lot of detail in the, uh, the middle of the back. and uh, So this is done between uh, two upper pulleys, a uh, set of bench in the middle. Uh, and what you're basically doing is you're, uh, with the elbows leading the way, uh, you're pulling the elbows into the body and you're actually trying to pull them back behind your body. Of course, you're not going to do this, but that's the way you want to think. Uh, because if you pull uh, towards your body and a little bit back, you're going to get a better contraction at the bottom of the movement. So as you can see, she's starting with her um, hands uh, facing uh, towards the floor at the top of the movement. Then she's rotating her hands uh, so that they're uh, facing more towards the ceiling when she reaches the bottom of the movement. Uh, and I find this way you just get a better contraction at the bottom of the movement. So again, you want to lead with your elbows and you really want to hold that squeeze as tight as you possibly can at the bottom of the movement, really contract all those inner back muscles and you'll find that you grow a lot more muscularity in the middle back, especially when you're lean. Okay, so this next movement uh, is on the cables again and uh, we're using a rope for this movement and an incline bench. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty unique movement uh, in that you get a great stretch at the top of the movement and a great squeeze at the bottom of the movement. Uh, because you're using a rope, it's very versatile. You're able to have your hands close together uh, at the top of the movement, which allows for a really, really good stretch on the lats, which you want to make sure that you hold and exaggerate. And then as you can see, uh, she's keeping uh, the lower portion of her body locked into place. She's not leaning back too much, but she's arching the lower back, sticking the chest out, and bringing the elbows up as high as she can so she can really, really contract all of the upper back muscles really towards the top of the back. So we're hitting the mid to upper traps, the rear delts, the rhomboids and all of those little muscle groups that really, really show a lot of detail in the upper back. It's not a movement that you want to use a tremendous amount of weight because otherwise you won't get the contraction and the stretch that you're after. So make sure that you use medium weights, go for about 12 reps, move the weight slowly from top to bottom and exaggerate the stretch at the top, and exaggerate the squeeze at the bottom and you'll feel amazing muscularity in the middle back. Okay, for the third movement, uh, again, we're looking to focus on the upper and the middle back muscularity uh, for this workout. We're using a rowing machine which is uh, supporting the chest. I guess you can call this a T-bar row with the chest supported. We're using a medium width overhand grip and I'm having her sit uh, low on the bench uh, again because we want to 
have the elbows come up pretty high on the body so that we are hitting all of those upper back muscles again, the mid to upper traps, the rear delts, the rhomboids, because we're looking to build, build the thickness and the 3D effect in the upper back, uh, which we're accomplishing with this movement. Again, as you can see, she's using very, very strict form. She's muscling the weight at all times. She's not throwing the weight. She makes sure that she gets a full stretch at the bottom. She brings the weight up slowly, again, muscling the weight. When she gets to the top, she exaggerates that squeeze. She wants to make sure that she's really retracting those shoulder blades and squeezing all of those muscles together to make sure that she's hitting every single portion of the upper back and bringing out that muscularity which she needs to perform well on stage her next show. Okay, next is the basic wide grip pull down, but as you can see, I'm having her face away from the waist stack. I'm using what is normally uh, used to anchor the legs as actually a back support because I don't want her leaning back on this movement. I want her keeping her torso uh, relatively straight. Uh, the only thing that you'll see her leaning back a little bit is when she gets to the bottom of the movement again, she's arching the lower back. She's not leaning back, she's arching the lower back. She has a wide grip on the bar, which is gonna allow her to bring her elbows out wide, which again is working those upper back muscles, which is what we're focusing on today. As you can see, again, a very, very strict movement. She's going all the way to full stretch. Her arms are straight at the top. She's bringing the weight down using, you know, muscling the weight, not throwing the weight. And she's bringing it down, the bar down to just about under chin level, which is where she's feeling that full contraction. So again, this is a, I want to say that you don't want to use a lot of weight on the movement because then you end up throwing the weight. You want to muscle the weight down, so use a medium amount of weight, go for about 10 to 12 reps, and really, really squeeze on the bottom of the movement to really feel all of those middle back muscles contracting. Okay, next up was the uh, wide grip seated cable row, but as you can see, what I did was I set up a bench uh, at a cable crossover station, and I'm not sure if you could see, but I put a 25 pound plate under the back of the bench because I wanted to angle the bench downward a little bit, uh, which was creating a certain line of pull that I was looking to create uh, to hit uh, the mid-back muscles, but a little bit lower on the back. And the way I accomplished this is not only by angling the bench this way, but I had her angle her body forward a little bit at the beginning of the movement and keep it there throughout the movement, only coming back a little bit as she reaches full contraction. I told her that I wanted her to bring the bar to about mid-abdominal level in order to hit those lower mid-back muscles because we've been hitting a lot of the upper back muscles with the earlier movements. I wanted to get a little bit lower on the back but still stay out wide and create more muscularity and thickness and density in the back. And this movement is helping to accomplish it again, not throwing the weight, moving the weight slowly through the concentric phase and through the eccentric phase and exaggerating the squeeze at the top of the movement. Excellent movement for back density and mass. Okay, this movement uh, is one of my favorites for building muscularity in the mid-back. I actually originally wanted to do this on a Smith machine. The Smith machine was taken, so I decided to opt for a cable. But again, it can be done. This identical movement can be done on a Smith machine or even with a barbell. But I like the control of a Smith machine or a cable. So what she did is she took about a little bit outside shoulder width grip on the bar. She's facing away from the weight stack. The bar is behind her back and she's leaning her torso forward a little bit which helps to keep the rear end out of the movement which is very very important because you want to get full contraction and the bar needs to come up past the rear end. So as you can see this movement is kind of like a hybrid between an upright row and a shrug. Uh, obviously you're not going to row it up as high as you would if the bar was in front of the body so it's a little bit of a shorter movement but she's initiating the movement like an upright row by lifting the elbows up and as she gets to the top of the movement, she gets that little few extra inches of contraction by shrugging. What this movement does is it really, really hits the mid traps. It really isolates those mid traps really well. Also will hit the mid upper traps and also the rear deltoids. Uh, it's, it's a different kind of movement than your traditional back movement, but if you get this movement down pat, you, you will really, really feel the muscularity in the middle back and you'll build more thickness in that area, which gives you more detail, more density, especially if you're a competitor. Okay, the final movement that I used here is an incline dumbbell shrug, again, for the mid traps. Not like traditional shrugs, which is working right on the top of the upper traps. That's not really an area that I want to build for her, but I want to build that more of that 3D effect in the middle back, and this is a really great movement to do that. So as you can see, she's laying face down on an incline bench, set maybe about 45 degrees or so. She's grabbing the dumbbells, the palms will be facing each other. 
Now the key to this movement is not to row the dumbbells. A lot of people who I talk about this movement with, if they don't see me do it, they actually row the dumbbells. You don't want to row the dumbbells. We're looking to just retract the shoulder blades as you can see her doing here. So she's letting the arms hang. She's keeping no bend in the elbow and she's just retracting the shoulder blades and really just squeezing the mid traps together. So it's a very, very short and subtle movement. It takes a few times to get, but when you really, really can start to feel this movement and connect with it, you'll feel that mid trap area really, really start to burn and really, really start to grow if you keep doing this movement consistently. So again, a very, very short movement. What you want to do, I'd say somewhere between 10 and 15 reps. You don't want to go too heavy because then you're not able to get that proper contraction. And since it's already a very, very short movement, you don't want to make it even shorter by going too, too heavy. So medium pound dumbbells, get that contraction as best you can, squeeze hard at the top, and you really love this movement. All right. Well, I have to say I'm very impressed with you. I was trying to be quiet while we were filming, but it was impressive. When he's impressed, it's impressive. It's impressive, yeah. Wow, you look great. I think you'll be surprising yourself once you see the video. Because we never see our back working. No, no. So once you see it, you'll be like, holy crap, is that me? How was the workout for you? It was good, it was good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah So tell me, you know, is this, this is actually the first time you're meeting. So you've been working with Eric, you know, via remote, like, like most people do. Mm -hmm. um, how, what's the difference between actually training with him for, uh, hands-on versus just the workout uh, via internet? I mean, he's doing really good instruction, you know, as far as like, the holes and the pauses and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Just seeing it in action, just to make sure, hey, I really am squeezing it. Yeah. Like I said, and the tempo and pace is... Pretty much what I should be doing, kind of how it works. Yeah. So, yeah it's, just, it's just different in person. Is it close to what you were thinking, uh, what you were doing on your own? Or? I think so. Okay, yeah, good. Pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty close, yeah. Nice. Completely different than how I was training previously. I'm sure. So, yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, if you respect the tempo and the squeeze and all that mm -hmm. stuff, then that's already, it's a lot different yeah, than what most yeah. people do, but. Exactly. Uh, it's always great. To, I'm spoiled, you know. I mean, so. <laughs> I mean, I started training with him uh, via remote location, and then eventually we just did a couple body parts a week. And once you start training with him, it's I mean, I'm spoiled now because I train with him every day. <laughs> but I remember what it's like not to have him. That's why I like to ask people, you yeah. know, who uh, who don't have access to him all the time. How was that for you, Eric? The first time, new, it's nice to have new people. Well, first of all, it was great to meet her. I yeah. mean, you know, we we you know just the video chat kind of stuff and you know just obviously through email um, but it's you know it's great to just meet somebody in person uh, but actually I, I have to say that um, a couple of things first of all she, you know she sends me photos you know or video like every week obviously because we're preparing for a show but when I saw her in person I was actually pleasantly surprised because I think she looks even like better in person than what I was seeing in the pictures yeah. um, even though I already knew she was going to be you know probably you know in one of the best shapes of her life for this show. Now when I see her in person, I could actually see how dry she is uh, and how much further along that I even thought that she was. So that was the first thing that was really great for me. Uh, and I'm sure that makes you feel yes. good. <laughs> you know, it's funny how uh, you say that because when uh, when she starts training, everything starts popping alive. A much different look. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When yeah. she was, yeah, that was the thing. I was like watching her because obviously I watch people very, very carefully what they're doing. And one of the things that I try to impart on everybody is that, you know, I try to touch them where I want them to feel it and really make sure that they're getting the squeeze where I want or the stretch where I want. And so I was doing that with her. And so I was really watching very, very closely to see what was happening with her physique. And obviously it's, it's much easier to do that when somebody's lean. Uh, and when I was watching the muscles actually moving in motion, stretching and squeezing and contracting, I was like, wow, she's like, I mean, I saw striations popping out where it's I like, pretty. We didn't see. Yeah, yeah it's it just pretty. looks so great. So, and the other thing that was, that was great was to know that she's been putting the workouts that I've been giving her, she's actually been putting them to action properly because when, a lot of times when people will come, even though I'm giving them instruction, I'll be saying, hold the squeeze or hold the stretch, they'll be getting, and then I'll come and see them in person and they're not really doing it like the way I was teaching them. So I have to go through a whole correction process like, no, you're not holding for four or five seconds. You're holding for like two seconds or your form isn't strict. You need to be stricter. You need to move slower. But uh, Rashana was doing that, you know, right from the start. So I know she's been practicing what I've been preaching. I think that was preaching. what I was kind of watching you for. I'm like, am I really holding it that long? Is it, and are you really serious about holding it that long? Yeah. You are. You, yeah. So it's like, yeah. and it I is a four a second, like eight or a five second hold. So that's... Yeah, I'm serious hard. about it's it. Hard. <laughs> yeah, and she, and she was doing it, which was great. And that's why... I feel like she's been making, you know, one of the things that she originally hired before, before we were even talking about contest prep, was muscle growth. 
And so I kind of revamped her training, promised her she was getting going to get bigger, and she has. She's gotten bigger and fuller in pretty much every area that we've targeted. Uh, but now seeing it right in front of me, it it's, gives me great satisfaction. And when I see her happy, because like she's smiling and she's happy about it, because she's a serious person. Rashawn's a very serious person. She's very, very like, uh, you know, the way she's very, very meticulous about everything. She's military. I think, is what I think why we work, like the workouts are just a very, very specific direction. The more specific, the better I work. You like that? So I, I like that. Yeah. yeah. I, can, I can focus on that and just do the work, do this, do this, and get it done. And if I do what you tell me, then I should look like this. And that's, that's right. Where we're at. That's right. So, yeah, so it's been so great. So you did very well last year, qualified for your Olympia, went back to the Olympia three times. Um, how did you guys meet? How did you uh, connect? I think I found him on Instagram. I think I was looking for Really? Wow. Kind of posting and stuff. Um, and I had, he was on a very short list. I reached out to a couple people that I was just trying to think about who I could work with okay. in the off season, you know, and trying to could help me grow. Okay. And when I reached out, I'm like, do you think you can decide? Because I had another coach that said, you need to take the year off. And I was like, well, we really want to take the year off. I think I have enough time with the right help. So it was just a matter of finding the right help. And then he wasn't like, I thought I needed to gain 20 pounds in off season. Yeah. And I think I gained actually 14 total. And yeah. we've been working with 14 pounds. <laughs> the entire wow. time. That's and awesome. It just, but it looks completely different than when I started, you know, last year. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we found them on Instagram. We kind of going back and forth. And then we started the off-season stuff. And the training was going really well. Um, the communication was good. And I just kind of, it just kind of kind of clicked, I yeah. guess. And then it was just kind of working. And I was like, well, nice. let's just see how our prep goes. And so we just you know, kind of rolled, we just kind of rolled into a prep. And So how many months have you been t working together now? So we're still in Right after the Olympia last year. Yeah, that's okay. Right after the Olympia, she wanted to go into a wow. size. And it, and it was one of those things, too. I mean, I was coming off an injury, too, so I had a really bad injury that I had surgery. Oh. So we, I needed to get size, and that's what the judges yeah. wanted. Even after the win from Savannah, you know, they make you need more size, so, especially on the upper body. So that's kind of what we had some work to do. You never saw any of the videos that he's made before? I, you know, only when I, through Instagram. Like, okay, you know, okay, when okay. When I finally found him on Instagram, I kind of started going through stuff. And I was gotcha. Other, and I was like, oh, okay. And that's all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, and then it just kind of, it's kind of Well, it's kind of cool that you're on one of the videos today. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You look great. I'm. Uh, I'm very. He had mentioned the how good you look, and he's not. He doesn't really give praise uh, unless it's his brother. Uh, but you know, yeah, this I'm, so has probably been probably my strictest prep. Uh, really? Say, yeah. Just in terms, of even like the diet and stuff. The diet is actually stricter than it has been in previous preps. Nice. Um, just kind of rolling along. And, yeah, it, it seems to be working. So, wow. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it brings to the stage. All right, we're gonna wish you the best of luck. So first show is about three to four weeks, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, you look great. I think you're right there. And then uh, I can't wait to see what she does. It's going to be <laughs> yeah, exciting. I mean, huh? Listen, I mean, I, I, I say this every single time, but it's always worth repeating. The only thing you could do as a coach is to bring the person in best that yeah. they've ever looked. Yeah. You have no control after that. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, I know this. Is, I, I think it's going to be the best uh, Rashana that she's ever presented. And then I and then I I'm firmly believe that with each show that we do, she's just going to keep getting better. Yeah. Uh, so, because this, you know, I'll learn the peaking process with her and, and you know, how, how her body works. And then we'll just get her better as we move along. But main goal is to get her back onto the Olympia stage. Uh, and then get her into the Olympia mix. You know, get her get her into that yeah. that, that top group. It's, uh, it's easy when people listen, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Right>? I mean, she <laughs> she seems to be a good listener. <laughs> she's a good listener. Some, and, and she and she you know always but comes it's back coaching to me too. You know, it's definitely one of those that right. me a certain way and present things a certain way. And make me it's a team it. effort. It's definitely yeah. a team effort. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It just works. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And she always comes back to me when she has <laughs> questions. When yeah. she has questions, mm -hmm. she comes back to me. You almost every single week. <laughs> She'll be like, all right, I got the plan. You have an email coming with like 18 questions, you know, and then whatever. <laughs> but it's all good because, you know, she just wants to clarify. Yeah, yeah. She wants to tell me exactly what food she's going to be eating, make sure that it's cool. You know, she'll ask me questions here and there. She wants to learn, which is a good yeah. thing. And, yeah, yeah. And so like, so because we click so well, and because we communicate so well, that's why it works overall. And it's going to help. And she's such a hard worker. You know, obviously you can see by the way she trained. Uh, she, you know, she doesn't. She kind of puts like a poker face on when she's going, but she's in <laughs> she's in more pain than you guys know because I could tell. Yeah, I could tell she's down to that last couple of reps, and she's gonna. She's and gonna I was like doing like my own clients. I'm like, okay, is this the last one yet? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. great, great day, great workout, and uh, thank you, the trip for sure. thank you so much for for making you know the whole day for us you know to come from that's a, that's a big sacrifice especially when you prep that close to the show you have kids mm -hmm. you know you're a busy person yeah. 
Uh, so it's it's uh, yeah, you know it was good for me just to kind of come on and for me even the reassurance like yes we're on schedule right how you supposed to and that's just a confidence thing for me so even like sometimes I'll reach out and I'm like how do I look <laughs> and every now and again I just need an extra little you like, lose prospects yeah. sometimes when you see the, yeah. yourself all the time mm-hmm. yeah exactly yeah, yeah I'm so sure the person you need your yeah. coach to tell you you're in, on you know in the right position yeah. otherwise you can. Get to play it's with easy. Your mind, but yeah. Exactly. Hey, listen. Yeah. She was the one who suggested coming out here. It wasn't even me. Mm-hmm. She wanted to come out here, even if it wasn't for filming. Yeah. She wanted to see me, see me in person, make sure that she's on track. That's how serious she yeah, is. Yeah, that's about why I'm saying it's a big, yeah. it's a big. Uh, yeah, it's great. But, but it'll be great right. when you're out here for the Olympics, because uh, you know. Yes. We could yeah. Do it. yeah. Like, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> that's be awesome. Back. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming today. Thank you, Eric, for for uh, suggesting her. Absolutely. And then uh, best of luck in thank two to three weeks. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs>